In this video I'm going to play a couple of uh, basic games in uh, CPM 2.2. I've uh, already started the simulation, as you can see here. Uh, I have a generic terminal here uh, I can use to, uh, to work with the simulation. So, uh, pressing a space. Uh, always remember when uh, simulating this uh, Intellect machine, as you probably saw in my previous video, uh, you need to press space. This is something from the BIOS of the machine. Well, not really a BIOS, but from the ROM code. So uh, you need to press that space so it knows uh, on which port you have the terminal connected. So I pressed here the space key. I'm uh, now uh, in the CPM version 2.2. Uh, it's 32 kilobytes version. So what we have here is uh, uh, the front panel. Uh, you cannot interact with it. Uh, there are the two floppy drives. Uh, you can actually interact with those and change the loaded images. Uh, in the first drive there is the CPM uh, system image loaded. In the second drive uh, there is an uh, disk image with uh, basic games. We have here the simulation control and uh, we also have here a second terminal. Uh, this is an uh, ADM3A terminal. So why we have this one? Uh, I hope it will become uh, clear uh, soon. But uh, let's see uh, in this generic terminal so uh, let's take a look at what we have on the system disk. Uh, it's a stripped down version of uh, CPM. I kept only a few uh, of the CPM uh, utilities and uh, I also have here uh, MBASIC and uh, Nevada Edit. And uh, also let's take a look on the B drive. So we have uh, various uh, basic programs and uh, README. So first let's take a look at the README. If uh, I simply uh, say type uh, b uh, README, this is actually quite hard to follow. Uh, in theory you can press Ctrl S to pause the display, but as you saw it goes pretty fast. So uh, instead I'm going to use uh, Nevada edit, so edit b uh, readme. Okay, so now we can uh, take a look at it. I will also maximize this window. So uh, this is uh, actually uh, Creative Computing Modified Games Programs. Uh, so the first CPM uh, games disks were distributed. Uh, we distributed, were taken directly from our book, Basic Computer Games, uh, Microcomputer Edition. And uh, as you can see here, there were improvements and modifications to the original, uh, which have been included in this uh, distribution. And we can see here the games are now uh, menu driven. Uh, We'll see how this looks. So you should load uh, Microsoft Basic and run Menu. And most programs uh, chain back to Menu upon completion. Okay, let's see some more. Uh, clear screen commands have been inserted at appropriate spots. The control character for this function is 26, which works for an ADM tree or uh, IMSI view board. Okay, so this is why, apart from the generic terminal, I also included in the simulation an uh, ADM3A terminal. Uh, however, uh, if uh, you compare uh, the generic terminal with the ADM3A terminal, uh, you see here uh, there are some control codes which this terminal does not recognize. Uh, so these are actually ANSI control codes, which uh, this version of Nevada Edit uses. 
so actually Nevada Edit does not work that good on this particular terminal, at least this version, because you can create different versions as well using different control codes. Uh, while on this one uh, it looks good, so that's why I've included both uh, terminals, and you can actually interact uh, from either one of them uh, with the running program. So again, I'm going to scroll here, and again here you see uh, the ANSI control codes. While here they do not appear because they already uh, perform some action. Okay, so let's see more uh, what's happening. Likewise, uh, some of the programs are written for a 24 by 80 screen, though usually the narrower spacing of the originals has been retained. Uh, in general, the revised programs are much more video oriented. So again, this is something uh, you need to be aware. Uh, different terminals had uh, perhaps different sizes. Uh, ADM 3A has indeed uh, 80 columns by 24 lines. Uh, this generic terminal actually has uh, 80 columns by 25 lines. I think this is configured in the simulation. Uh, let's see what else. Extra spacing lines have been inserted. Uh, print using formats have been used to line up columns and make charts and tables more readable. Uh, individual character reverse function of the view port uh, has been used occasionally. Okay, so we don't have in this simulation a view port simulation. Uh, but it mentions uh, this should be ignored by most uh, video boards and or printers. So it should work fine. Uh, display of numeric variables uh, has been cleaned up by printing a backspace character to eliminate uh, the extra space inserted after numbers by Microsoft Basic. Uh, so again, uh, you should be aware that uh, in that time period, there were uh, multiple uh, Basic uh, interpreters or compilers, and uh, there were uh, small differences between them. But since these games were written for Microsoft Basic, uh, we expect them to run. Uh, Okay, so let's see next. A few programs have been duplicated in both screen and printer versions. Uh, spelling and grammar have been corrected. Uh, the programs are now saved in internal rather than ASCII format for faster loading. This also allows enough space for saving a copy of Microsoft Basic or some utility programs. Uh, so again, uh, this uh, internal format, uh, I'm not sure if all versions of Microsoft Basic used the same internal format. Uh, so hopefully uh, the version that uh, I've included uh, on the system disk uh, will uh, work properly. And uh, that's it. Uh, we hope you enjoyed the games. Okay, so I will exit uh, Nevada Edit. Okay, and uh, as it mentioned, we should start the menu. Uh, for this, I will go to the B drive. So we see here uh, amongst the basic files, uh, there is a menu.pass, it's right here. Uh, so I will uh, write A and basic menu. Uh, you can actually specify uh, the bus extension or you can uh, leave it out and it will assume it's uh, bus. So here uh, there's some typing. Let's see. Uh, A and B. Uh, so, uh, what it says, the following game programs are available on this disk, uh, and we can see them listed here. Uh, I will uh, first start this diamond, and you will see why. Uh, so, uh, if I use this generic terminal, it allows me to send both uppercase and 
lowercase letters so you must uh, be careful if I say diamond it will just say that file does not exist uh, because uh, for some reason it checks uh, to be uh, uppercase so you can activate your caps lock and it will work or if you use uh, ADM3A this is a version without uh, lowercase so in this case uh, even if you don't have caps lock uh, it will be uh, all uppercase okay so diamond let's start it from here uh, again the two terminals work in parallel so whatever uh, you see here you also see here but there may be uh, differences in how uh, control characters are uh, uh, implemented and you can see there are some uh, errors as well uh, you see here uh, there is a missing O so uh, even though it mentioned that some spelling uh, errors were corrected it seems not all of them uh, so uh, for a pretty diamond pattern type in an odd number between 5 and 21 so let's say uh, 7 uh, enter two capital letters uh, you can actually uh, start the program without any capital letters and just press enter and the program will uh, simply draw uh, some diamond shapes as you can see here also here and uh, we just need to wait a couple of seconds for the program to finish this drawing and one thing that uh, you'll notice at the end is that it uh, returns to this menu automatically so uh, uh, even though it's a useful feature for uh, some of the games uh, in this case uh, if you weren't paying attention while it was drawing then uh, uh, it's lost but you can uh, probably start the program from outside and disable this uh, menu loading so even though it was considered an improvement uh, this uh, back to menu uh, still uh, in some cases uh, maybe it's uh, not such a good idea okay so uh, let's uh, play something else uh, something that's more interactive and uh, for example, um, uh, let's say this uh, classic uh, hangman. Uh, this time I will be using the generic terminal and I've activated uh, caps lock. And now you see here out of memory. And what this means is that uh, my uh, CPM version 32K uh, is not enough. So uh, I will simply get back to CPM using the system command in basic and uh, now I will use uh, from the system drive so a uh, move uh, CPM uh, let's say 50 so this constructed uh, 50k version of CPM uh, it uh, loaded it and uh, executed it in memory I'm back to the A drive so let's get back to B and run a and basic menu let's try again uh, hangman okay and this time it started uh, so uh, it says here are the letters you used nothing uh, we have this uh, word that we need to guess and uh, it asks for a letter again keep in mind uh, you should enter only uppercase letters so let's start with a for example uh, sorry that letter isn't in the word uh, first we draw head and you can see the head being drawn here so what else let's try an e nope i okay so we have something here uh, let's try maybe a t uh so i press t but uh, for some reason it says wrong but i also uh ah, i see here uh, an i so maybe there is something wrong with this program Not sure okay i typed it again and i see it here let's try an h 
Okay. Uh, let's try uh, W. Okay, so yeah, uh, you found the word. So want another word? Well, let's say no. And apparently there is also a syntax error in uh, line 370. So I'm not exactly sure why, uh, perhaps uh, because this particular version of Embase maybe doesn't recognize uh, this second instruction on the same line. I'm, I'm not sure actually, or maybe we have this double code here, maybe that's the problem. Okay, so anyway, I will get back to menu. I will type load uh, menu. Again, you can leave out the extension, the pass extension. Then run. Okay, and we can see the menu again. So uh, let's try something else. Um, for example, uh, let's say for trader. So remember, these are uh, actually uh, file names on the disk, so we are limited to eight characters. So it's not really for trader, it's a missing uh, E here in order to make it eight characters long. So be sure to copy this exact name uh, from the menu. Okay, so uh, you are the leader of a French fur trading expedition in 1776, leaving the Lake Ontario area to sell furs and get supplies for the next year. You have a choice of three forts at which you may trade with the cost of supplies and the amount you receive for your furs will depend on the fort that you choose. Do you wish to trade furs? Yes. Uh, you have $600 savings and 191st to begin the expedition. Your 191st are distributed among the following kinds of pelts. Mink, beaver, ermine and fox. How many mink pelts do you have? Well, let's say uh, maybe uh, 60. Uh, how many beaver pelts do you have? Let's say 20. How many ermine pelts uh, do you have? Uh, let's say 40. How many fox pelts do you have? Uh, I'm guessing it remains uh, 70. Okay, so you may trade your first at Fort 1, Fort 2, or Fort 3. Fort 1 is Fort uh, Hokelaga, hopefully I'm pronouncing it correct, in Montreal. And is uh, under the protection of the French army. Fort 2 is uh, Fort uh, Stadacona in Quebec and is under the protection of the French army. However, you must uh, uh, make a portage and cross the Lakin Rapids. Uh, Fort 3 is for New York and is under Dutch control. You must cross through Iroquois land. Which fort would you like to trade at? Well, uh, I don't know, let's just say Fort 1. You have chosen the easiest route. However, the fort is far from any seaport. The value you receive for your first will be low, and the cost of supply is higher than at Fort uh, Stadar Conal, New York. Do you want to trade at another fort? No. Supplies at Fort Hokelaga cost $150, your travel expenses were $10, your beaver sold for $15, your fox $67, uh, airmine $30, mink $45, $60. You now have uh, $598, including your previous savings. Uh, okay, so basically uh, you sold uh, your first. Uh, you received some money. Uh, you also have had to pay for supplies and travel. So you started with 600 and now you have uh, 598. So uh, somehow you lost uh, $2 and so on. You can continue and trade at other forts. Uh, so I will answer here no. Uh, and this uh, gets me back to the menu. Okay, so let's try uh, Amazing. 
This program generates mazes of dimensions. You specify every maze is different and has only one way through. The maze appears on the terminal CRT screen. If you want a printed maze, run the amazing P program instead of this one. What are your width and length? Two numbers separated by a comma. So uh, let's say, for example, uh, 20 uh, and 6. So it starts drawing the maze. Uh, I'm guessing here it computes uh, the maze. Now it draws it. But again, this uh, going back uh, to the menu is uh, something that uh, doesn't allow you to completely see uh, the maze so uh, what I will do here is press ctrl C this gets me back to basic uh, I will type load amazing run but uh, I'm guessing it will uh, try to load uh, the menu again at the end which still uh, doesn't allow me to see it properly yeah so what you can do is actually uh, delete this uh, menu file or uh, maybe run uh, from the a drive uh, so you can uh, see the resulting maze without uh, getting back to the menu or maybe you can uh, modify the basic program to stop it uh, from loading the menu uh, let's actually try that. So uh, load amazing. Uh, let's see a list. And in line uh, 1073, uh, you see there run menu. So uh, I will just enter a new line 1073. Uh, for example, RAM run menu so this is actually a comment so now if I list it yeah I see it uh, change the last line with uh, this RAM line that I enter this is a comment so it will no longer run the menu so now I can run the program let's try again 20 by 6 So now you can actually see uh, the menu, the maze it uh, generated. Uh, you have uh, uh, to enter the maze here and uh, exit here. So uh, probably you will go uh, something like this. Okay. Uh, let's see another example. For example, 10 by 10. And obviously the same uh, you can see here in the ADM3 terminal. Okay, so uh, this is the generated maze. Again, you enter uh, here, you exit here, so you have a path, probably something like this. So it's not too difficult. Okay, let's get back to the menu again. Uh, so um, let's try something else. I will not play all the games uh, today, but uh, I may create uh, another video with more games being played. So uh, let's try, for example, uh, flip flop. So the object of this puzzle is to change this, and uh, there's a line full of access to this and there's a line full of uh, O's by typing the number corresponding to the position of the letter uh, on some numbers I'm guessing here uh, uh, there should be a dot uh, this looks like a new sentence on some numbers uh, one position will change on others two will change so for example if I type three uh, it's possible to change only this X, uh, but if I type 4, it's possible to have uh, two uh, letters uh, 
being changed, presumably the four and another one. Uh, so to reset line to all axis type 0 and to start over in the middle of a game type 11. Uh, here is the starting line, uh, input the number. So let's try with 3 for example. Okay, so uh, you can see 3 is uh, one of those uh, numbers where you get two changes. So it changed 3 and 7. Let's try 2. Uh, in this case only 2 changed. Okay, let's try 1. Uh, it changed 2 uh, because it changed uh, 1 and 3. Let's try 4. Again, change 2, uh, it changed 4 and 2. So you should pay attention to this. Uh, 5. 5, I think, changed only 5. <coughs> Let's try 6. Uh, I think uh, 6 uh, maybe changed only. Six, not sure. Let's try eight. Let's try nine. Let's try three. Okay, so three also changed seven. Uh, let's try ten. Ten also changed six. Okay, let's try seven, which changed uh, also five. Uh, let's try six. Okay, let's try five. Uh, so it changed also two. Let's try two. And yeah, uh, this time uh, it ended. Uh, it says try harder next time. It took you 14 guesses. Do you want to try another puzzle? No. Okay, uh, let's try another one, uh, for example, high-low. Uh, so this is the game of high-low. Uh, you will have six tries to guess the amount of money in the high-low jackpot, which is between one and one hundred dollars. If you guess the amount, you win all the money in the jackpot, then you get another chance to win more money. However, if you do not guess the amount, the game ends. So, your guess, let's try, I don't know, 50. Your guess is too high. Uh, let's try, for example, 25. Your guess is too high. Uh, let's try 12. It's too low. Uh, so, uh, let's try maybe 20. Too low. So, it's between 20 and 25. Let's try 22. Too low again, let's try 23. Uh, you blew it too bad. The number was 24. Uh, so you actually had uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 uh, guesses. Play again. Uh, well, no. Okay, uh, let's try. even win uh, two so this is a two-person game called even wins uh, to play the game the players need 27 marbles or other objects on the table the two players alternate turns with each player removing one to four marbles on each move the game ends when there are no marbles left and the winner is the one with an even number of marbles. Uh, the only rules are that one, you must alternate turns, two, you must take between one and four marbles each turn, and three, you cannot skip a turn. Type a one if you want to go first, and type a zero if you want me to go first. So let's say zero. Uh, so uh, I pick up two marbles, so uh, Apparently, if it, uh, it's a two-player game, but uh, one of the players is the computer. So, uh, I pick up two marbles, total 25. What is your next move? Uh, let's say four. Okay, the computer picks again two marbles. Let's say four. 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 Uh, so... Uh, one 
that is all of the marks. My total is 10, total is 17. I won. Do you want to play again? No. Okay. Um, let's try, I don't know, uh, chemist. So it says the fictitious chemical. Uh, you see here again, uh, there's a spelling error. Uh, so the fictitious chemical uh, cryptocyanic acid can only be deducted by the ratio of seven parts water to three parts acid. If any other ratio is attempted, the acid becomes unstable and soon explodes. Given the amount of acid, you must decide how much water to add for dilution. If you miss, you face the consequences. So it says 12 liters of cryptocyanic acid, how much water? Uh, let's just that or something 10 for example uh, Caesar you have just been desalinated into a blob of quivering protoplasm however you may try again with another life so uh, 15 I don't know let's just that or something so again the same uh, let's add more okay so basically what you need to do is uh, compute uh, the exact uh, number. Uh, it's not clear uh, how you can uh, stop playing. If I try to enter N, it just says read from start. So uh, I will just press Control C and load again the menu and run it. Okay. Uh, so. I don't know if uh, there is something else uh, that should be uh, much more interesting than these ones. Uh, let's just try uh, a last one, for example, buzzword. So this program prints highly acceptable phrases in educator speak that you can work into reports and speeches. Whenever a question mark is printed, type a Y for another phrase or uh, and to quit. Here is the first phrase, child center cognitive core curriculum. Okay, so uh, if I press uh, Y, flexible learning structure. Okay, so it just gives you uh, some uh, phrases that uh, presumably can uh, integrate into reports. So let's enter N. Okay, and it just got me back to the main. Okay, so uh, that's it for now. Uh, if you enjoyed it, uh, please uh, like, subscribe, leave a comment, and maybe in the future I will play uh, some more games. Uh, I will also include a link in the description to the simulation that you can uh, download and you can try and play uh, all these games or some other games. So thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye.